Hello everyone, my name's Arsene. How's it going? Let me know. Welcome back to Riddle School! It's time to do the number three game, and I can't wait to actually get to the Riddle Transfer 2 because apparently this all connects and it is so cool. Is that the school that I am escaping from? Please, please let me have to escape from the very top, like the roof. Oh, okay. oh man, it's all the same people in this. I like how the characters continue on through into the games. It makes everything very nice and neat. And not have to, like, okay, who's this new character? And learn everyone else. It's very, I don't know, I don't want to call it deep. But at least it's all together. And Happy kind of looks like she's no longer really like, Oh, let's go and enjoy learning stuff. This guy is still cold. My best friend Fred is so tired. He's just, like, bobbing his head. He's like, I'm just going to go to sleep. That or he's sucking dick. I don't know what. <laughs> what does that say? Mr. Spoochy? World map. You are here, not there. Well, that's the best map I've ever seen. I would love to see that in, in malls, like those uh, directories. You are here, and then just over in the corner, not here. That would be hilarious. If I ever get a mall, I'm going to do that. I don't ever know how to comment on that. How do, yeah, I don't know how to comment on either, but I, I'm apparently doing it as well. Mr. Soggy is your name. Well, that's kind of cool. That's Mr. Soggy. He is generally a lazy teacher who can be very strict if he wants to be. So a lazy, strict teacher, those are the worst type. Chewing gum? Oh, okay, well that's apparently an item that I needed, that's awesome! There's a rubber band back in the air vent, I would get it, but my fingers couldn't reach it. Do I need to get some sort of lubricant like I did in the first game? Wallpaper, peeling wallpaper, someone must have mistaken the wall for a banana. I can see how you can do that, they both peel. The smiling globe thing on the wall is not enough to make me happy. What about happy? Is it enough to make happy happy happy? Or smiley happy? <laughs> That's smiley. For some dumb, insane, unfathomable reason, she enjoys her her classes. I've noticed... I've also noticed that she doesn't blink. Oh my god. Well, that teacher's blinking. I'm blinking. Fred is like, well, nodding and blinking. Most definitely, she's on a crack. Or speed, or something. Methamphetamine, maybe? No. Zach's on meth, you're on speed. That's how that goes. How about Zach? That's Zach. I don't know why, but he's always cold. He ran into the cafeteria while he was burning a few days ago, and all the flames were frozen solid. You know how cool that would be? If you could just literally freeze flame, that would be amazing. From what little I paid attention to during the science class, that hole shouldn't be possible. No, it really shouldn't be possible. That's my friend Fred. He lent me his whistle to escape school a while back. It's too bad he lost his whistle recently or I'd be out of here in a matter of seconds. Yeah, the moo is the best thing, but his classroom decides the door to leave. <laughs> Study for the test of sanity. Who can tell me what is wrong with this science with that science? A sentence. Study for the test on Saturday. I don't know. Do can I use the gum to reach? I can't. Mr. Stuck doesn't let anyone out of the classroom or out of the classroom or out of his sight. Oh, okay. I thought I was reading that wrong. Oh, a ruler! Can I there's a rubber band? Can I can I Oh Yes! Yes! Things I'm learning! I can get that rubber band with the gum. That is so gross. That is so gross. Okay, what am I supposed to do with the rubber band now? And why is the teacher just nonchalant? Like, I'm doing this all nonchalant. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting that rubber band for the vent. And the teacher's like, yeah, do whatever. Obviously, my classmates aren't going to give a damn. Uh, do I have to, like, fling it in his face? Oh, I do! Right in his eye! <laughs> Quick, his glasses are off! We must escape now! I'm blind, I can't see! <laughs> I want to take his glasses. Oh, I can take his spectacles! Yes! Uh, no, I, I was seeing if I could take the shoes, the shoelaces, or anything, but we can get out of here now. Oh, we're at the other end of the school this time. That wasn't very sharp, that was a very sharp idea. Actually, it was kind of blurry. Yeah, it was a very blurry idea. Yes, John Burrow made a third school, <laughs> riddle school. I thought he'd never finish. <laughs> I'd be sure to play it as soon as I'm out of this place. Yeah, I can't even go out this way even through the doors are unlocked. Whoever built this building accidentally built part of the brick wall on the other side of those doors. That wasn't very smart at all. That's a locker surprise surprise, it's locked. 
Well, yeah, I would imagine it is, but at the same time, I want to try and... What's that? It's Penny. Oh, well, that's cool. It's a library here. Let's let's go check out the library. The library. I like these little cutscenes. Like, the John Bro stepped up his game with this. No, you're a moose. Okay, Mr. Reed, how are you, Mr. Reed? I'm feeling kind of depressed. I'm a liber librarian and I can't even read. Well, I can read, but only big print books. If you see my son, if you see my eyesight is like stuffed monkey. What? It's fuzzy. Well, that's kind of cool, but here's some glasses for you. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Here's a free bookmark. I'm not sure what I'm going to need the bookmark for, but that's awesome. And this book, How to Read. Read this. <laughs> this book was written by George H. Five. Stop reading. Uh, what about this book? Poem book by Pinky. Penny poem. Find five pennies. Find them all. Every penny in the hall. RS3 secret. Don't beat this game two times straight or else you'll meet a certain fate. Key. Deep in the jungle, you will find a key, guarded by creatures that watch from the trees. Okay, well, there's five pennies in the hall. I got that from it. Face on. Is it better than face off? Face on. $1,333 applied directly to the toenail? That's not a toenail. That's your tongue. Face on. Applied directly to the toenail. Uh, is that all? Okay, there's... Is there something different between these pictures that I'm supposed to differentiate between the two and somehow is a clue this message was paid for by Karsh I don't know what Karsh is Zonic that is the best ripoff name I've seen Zonic is awesome Zonic is awesome Zonic is awesome that seems to be about all that is written in that book is there anything any other books that I can find doesn't seem so there's nothing shut up lol <laughs> that is kind of funny Toggle quality. What's LMH? Oh. Oh, I see. It's the, uh, how good the graphics are. I'm gonna keep that on high. That's actually kind of cool. That's a new feature as well. I know these are gonna be locked. Or, are you, are you literally saying this is gonna be locked because there's gonna be one that is unlocked and I should stop? Or, you're like, no, I don't want to use the lockers again. And there's a second floor to this game! Wow! This locker is covered with new grounds angry face stickers I wish I could stay I wish I could say that it was my locker but sadly it isn't my locker is clean yellow locker that's upstairs oh do I need to find well there's a penny right here did I miss a penny in this hallway yes I did there's a penny right there let's go into the gentleman's locker here stall toilet I took the toilet roll I'm so sorry for the next person that's gonna go take a shit no urinal cakes, it's urinal, not much else you can say there. Those things behind me are called sinks. You use them to wash your hands. I can see myself in the mirror. It's, isn't that exciting? Very exciting. And the mirror's got mirror, mirror written on it. Why is there always water all over this place? Nope, I think that's all I was supposed to get from there is the toilet paper. What did I just go into? Oh, supply closet. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure, but I bet half of these calculators are broken. Um, those are the boxes labeled scissors, rulers, pencils, pens, and markers. That's misleading besides air. It doesn't nothing inside the box. Oh, okay. Yay, textbooks without any pages. Why are there no pages in it? What kind of supply closet is this? There isn't even any anything in the trash can. Paper would be nice if there was a single pencil in this entire building. Am I supposed to li like literally take something out of here? I don't know. Stitches are the way to go if you need to sneeze with all your snot and something. It's probably the best thing to do. I don't see anything that I'm supposed to be able to click on to do to thing around here. Oh, there's a dime up there. That dime is about a foot and a half out of my reach. Can I use a bookmark on it? Can I use that on it? How about the toilet paper? I want the goddamn dime! Okay, we might actually have to come back for that, or... I thought I could 
climb on the papers, or I could uh, use the ruler or something, but I can't. I might actually have to get like a stool from somewhere else and come back for that dime, but let's remember that it's there. Where do you come from? Oh, hey, I fell asleep in class and want some Carlo Phil too? There's a 20-ton cat in the hallway? Yes. A 20-ton cat in the hallway. Actually, I think it's a dinosaur, not a cat. Yeah, can't you hear it meowing right now? It's the sa size of my thumb. I don't hear anything. Me either. Are you blind? Can't you hear it? Why would you be blind and cannot you hear it? Okay, so the cat is a mute. It's being very quiet. If there's a really a 20 ton cat in the hallway, everybody in the school would hear it breathing. Exactly. Shoo! Okay, well, I, I gotta change my story apparently. Let's see how different we can make this. The hallway. Shoo. Alright, well, that wasn't any good. I fell asleep in class. So, I woke up. My teacher said I need to get some coffee to wake me up more. Which teacher did that? Did you just come from? Mr. Soggy. Let's count. Bo, Mr. Soggy. Soggy is completely against coffee. I remember when he told us the story about this coffee. He spilled ten full mugs of coffee on his clothes in the first guide. Oh, great, and everybody teased him. They called him Coffee Sog for something like or something like that, and he hated it. He didn't like the way coffee tasted that much either. Considering that, he certainly wouldn't have told you to come and get coffee and to wake you up. Shoo. Wow, John, bro, you took you put a lot of effort into this one. I've actually got to really be careful of what I'm going to be saying to these teachers, and hopefully I can get it right. Or maybe I gotta go do something else, but let's keep trying. Yeah, I fell asleep in class, so... Uh, teacher said I need to get to know. I think it's because school is as fun as watching grass grow. I can... Can I sleep on the couch instead? Shoot. No, that was the wrong thing to say, apparently. Uh, let's try... That one. I love watching grass grow. Do you want to see the 8 hour grass growing video I taped last Saturday? Yes, I would love to spend 8 hours of my time watching that. No, it sounds like the cure for insomnia. I'd rather watch Ice Melt. I'm gonna... Oh wait, my friend's at the fast food place as it right now. It looks like it's not going to happen. Bye. <laughs> so you love watching grass grow. <laughs> that was about it. Okay, 20 ton cat again. Let's try this. Uh, size of my thumb. There's no way a 20 ton cat is the size of your thumb. Oh, I didn't hear it, see, read that little bit. I thought I was just going to say shoo and tell me to go away. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm in the wrong room. Ha, 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 No, that was the wrong thing to say as well. I went, want some chloro, chloro, I don't know what the hell that is. I don't have an extra $200 on me right now. I think I do. What do you want your, chlor oh, chlorophyll. Just a soda can would be fine. I'd like to take it a coffee mug. I'd like it in my. I'd like it in my mouth. I'd like it in, it in the glass. I'd like it in the odd shoe, old shoe. Also in the cups. Uh, coffee mug. Sorry, those coffee mugs are for coffee only. In my mouth. The vending machine doesn't give that. Uh, okay. In a, that glass. As cool as it would be, the vending machine doesn't have a glass maker. Soda would be fine. All right, I have 197 dollars, three quarters, two dimes, and a four pennies. That should be enough. Actually, that adds up to 197.99. You're two dollars and a penny short. I knew we wouldn't have enough of those cheesy school pencils. Oh well, those probably shouldn't be in there anyway. Okay, I'm just gonna go adventure somewhere else right now. Uh, I'll probably come back to that later. Aqua Cola is only one ingredient. That's actually kind of a cool name for a cola. Miss Count? What'd that say? Locked figures. Well, I don't care if you think it's locked. Lunchroom? Let's try and go to Miss Count. The door's locked and the lights are out. Miss Count must be someplace else. She's probably down in the, um, in the room, uh, the, the lounge room there. Got pudding? Maybe. What are having who? That's a little odd. The message on the marquee is quite appetizing. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Put the cheese in the noodles and what do you get? Macaroni. That's Greg. He's asleep. He's been sleeping for eight years. He might be dead. 
My old middle school teacher, Miss Sleep, has been sleeping for a while, a few years as well. They must be relatives. Probably. What can I get for you? Hello, Miss Munch. Are you Chubb's mom? Yes. Why? <laughs> You're fatter than the sun. No reason that fatter than the sun. I can live with that. You can live with that? Why is there an egg up there? An egg on the wall. I'm supposed to... I'm supposing the school ran out of decorations. What can I get for you? Oh, let's try. <laughs> Hello, Miss Munch. Hello. That was it. That's, that's the extent of the conversation. If I actually try and begin it like a real person. I like chocolate pudding. So I pudding costs a dollar. You don't have enough. I think I changed my mind. All right, well, uh, apparently we're going to go find a dollar. But there should be also some pennies in here. What is this? There's a new grounds poster on the wall. That's pretty much the best poster I've ever seen in a school ever. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Pudding, I need pudding. Man, you goddamn child, and you needing the pudding. Uh, forget the fire extinguishers. If we want to stop a fire, all we just need to ask is Zach. I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna check all these lockers. Grab that penny, uh, Mr. What does that say, Miss? No, I don't want to read that right now. I'm trying to get out. Miss Flask, sweet Diz. I think Miss Mr. Reed made the poster. He's the one. He's the librarian. Okay, leaping from the window prohibited. How many times have you actually had people leap from the window that you actually need to say prohibited? There's way more lockers than there are students. So why are nearly all the lockers locked? Got a good point. I don't think I've checked these though, so I'm gonna do that. Because he also said his locker is yellow. If your button making machine almost completes it, Mr. F Miss Flask, well, I feel so silly to admit it, but I can't turn it on. It needs a switch or a button to even work, so I need a button to make a button. It doesn't have to be big, all it needs is something slightly larger than a pistachio nut. That could work too. It's a button making machine. It's supposed to make buttons that says science rocks on them. That message is false. H2O equals bread sticks. Oh, H2O equals bread minus sticks. Okay. Equals tasty. Okay, H2O equals water. Bread, bread minus sticks equals tasty. Uh, oh, okay. Paper. Uh, I have no clue what that is supposed to be a picture of. I don't know either. Do you, do you know what that picture is supposed to be of? Pluto still looks like a planet to me. I think Pluto is no longer a planet because Chubb ate it. There's a flask of picture on the wall. Miss Flask actually looks like a flask. I suppose she kind of does. There's nothing else on here, so I gotta get you a button for that. I gotta get enough money for a pudding. Oh, what the hell is with the crack? I think that tile got cracked when some kid dropped his drawing of an anvil on the floor. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Dropped his picture of an animal on the floor, and that's why it's broken. Oh, there's his locker. This is Richie. Help. What's the com 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 combination? I can never remember. I have it written down. It's in Miss Audeville's room. Tell her I need to get out of here. Uh, okay. And I really need to find... Emily! 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 Where are you? Emily! Emily! Oh my god! Why won't you die? Oh, come on! Come on! That would have been so awesome if you just died. I was so close to killing you.